Good morning. Molweni. It's good to see you, the beautiful faces of this country. It's really good. You see, it is good to the extreme. Uh, I wish you could get inside me, but I know it, it's probably the same with you that you wish I could get, uh, every, everybody could get inside your heart and see how good you are feeling. We are here today, um, a baby is born and a baby shall be named. Uh, don't worry that you don't see the name, the name shall be seen within no time. Yeah, we, we are here. And, and, and I want you not to hold yourselves. We are here to give birth to something powerful that has never been seen and experienced in this country. We, we are here as a people who are saying we cannot keep on with what is happening in this country. We cannot keep on with the status quo. Something is bound to change. And we, it is not going to be changed by anybody but by us sitting here and as we are sitting here all of us we are the founders of this movement that is about to change the face of this country there is no one person who is a founder everybody in this hall is a founder because we are not members now but we are going to be members soon today all of us you cannot be a member of something that has not been named yet, but you will see the name. All these things that you, you see covered are going to be uncovered soon. <laughs> Everything that was kept closest to some of our chests is going to get out soon. Even the media is dying to hear. Uh, they will be here. It's dying to hear what's the name, uh, who is working with who, but all that shall be revealed today. But I'm just here to, to say you are welcome. We are going to be starting with the program soon. But you are welcome. This is where you are supposed to be. You can say whatever you want to say after the, what is normally said uh, after a pause. Uh, <laughs> some people say amen, others say Others say, that's it. Others say, yeah. Others say, that's it. That's it. So, so we, we, are, we are here to, to, to break that ground today. And it will be broken. Uh, it will be broken. It will be broken. It will be broken. Um, nothing um, of the old shall hold. Nothing of the old shall hold. So something new is about to be born. So I want you to I want you I want you to catch it. I want you to be in that spirit. I want you to be in that mode uh, that says you have come here uh, to birth something new for this country. And come 2024, the whole picture of this country will not be the same. As you are sitting here, you must know. As you are sitting here, you must know and you must mark this date the day of the 15th of July, 2023, when the people of this country uh, themselves stood up. Even this venue itself speaks by itself. This is, a, this is a history. This is a historical venue. And a number of great things have been born in this venue. And they, they, when, when, whenever this venue is used, you must know that something powerful is, is about to be born. Those who don't know, the United Democratic Front, the UDF, was born here. And this country was never the same. Something is about to be born here. Something is about to be born here today. Uh, that, that will change the shape of this country. That will change, that will arrest the mess that this country is going in. And that is, that is in the middle of. It is going to, to stop that train. So, the program has not yet started. It's going to start soon. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to know, I just wanted to remind you, because you know why you are here, but I just wanted to remind you 
why you are here. The program has not yet started. That's why I'm not even going to say who I am. Because I, I know very few people would know me. I, I'm, 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 I'm not a popular person. Uh, no, I, very, very few people would know me. Maybe only two people or three, if I'm lucky. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, we, we don't do things because we are known by this, by, by this and that. Uh, so sit still, but if you don't want to sit still, if you want to start a song, you can start a song. This is, this is your place now. I'm, I'm leaving the stage now.
Obla mdebe fulu mnyango. We are starting the program now. Can everybody who was, who was outside get inside? Uh, the door is open. Please, let, let, let's get inside. And can, can, can the people are supposed, the leaders who are supposed to be leading here from different provinces come? Please, uh, first those leaders who are supposed to be sitting here to come. Apage enye yezindo esis teta yositi kina mshali kina. Kina mshali kina. Be strengthened, the citizen of this country. Be strengthened. People first. Abandu kukala. People first. When we know the name, we will also then say, Pata, don't don't Pata. But say, 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 don't don't before, before they and before they we unveil, can 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 the can the leadership from different provinces come? That's the leader from the northwest. That's the leader from KZN. KZN is here. Kwasulu Natal, Dr. Njangas. Pume Pondwe, Mpuma Golon, the Eastern Cape. Tatu Tom, Tatu Mutabi from, from Northwest. Dr. Njangas from Kwasulu Natal. Reverend Tom from the Eastern Cape. Yangena in leadership, Apostle Maseko from from Pumala. Then we we have Prophet Fanve, Prophet Fanve from the Northern Cape. We have Bishop Makakul from Pumala. From Gauteng, we have Apostle Asanda Chagavu. Gauteng. Gauteng. Bishop Zitoy. From Free State, Free State Ilap. From the Western Cape. We have Dadu Chunait. The whole country is covered. The leadership is here. The whole country is represented here in the Western Cape. I said this is the time for the history. We can never be in this hall if there's no history that is to be made. Can we give a shout of joy? History shall be made! History shall be made in this place! Before we, 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 oh, we open with, with, with prayer, I... Okay. Because I'm, I, was, I was looking for, I was looking for, for, for my people. I was looking for my people. Those who don't know, that's, a, that's Apostle Baliso from the Western Cape. One of the leaders uh, here. 
And I can safely say, although I'm not introducing people yet, but I can safely say he was standing with, with the Treasurer General. Oh, Inesh. Inesh. Can I really beg you that let's just take a song for one minute as I sort out my table? Just a song, just a song, a festive mood song. A, a, a breaking ground song. Victor here. Pastor Victor. Oh, all right. Where, where is Pastor Victor? Hmm? Where, where is Pastor Victor? We, we were starting our program. Can I also call... Uh, I'm going to call Pastor Victor to... To, to, to come and, and, and stand next to me. Uh, and I'm also going to call uh, Ishak Diaga to, to come and stand next to me. Shall we all stand as we're going to render a prayer?
Are we, are we going to use the, uh, one mic? Is, is there a second mic? That speakers uh, can use? All right. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of our King, we bow our throne of grace and thankfulness in our hearts. Lord, we are thankful for you. Lord, we are blessed for you. Because we are going to make a history here in the wetenschap. Lord, great and mighty things, Lord, we wait for you today out of your hands. Daarom roep ons uit na u toe vir oogend, Heere. Kom en trek ons onder die bloed, Heere. Kom en trek hier die saal onder die bloed, Heere. Kom en trek die verrachtinge onder die bloed, Heere. Want vandag, Heere, gaan ons geschiedenis maak hier in die westkap, Heere. Hier in Rocklands met ons plein, Heere. Gaan die kracht van God te geest, gaan val hier. Hier vandag, Heere, gaan groot geschiedenis gebeur. En ons vertrouw die, Heere, dat alles volgens die plan van die Heere gaan uitwerk. En ons bid het in Jesus naam met baie dankzegging. Amen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning to each and everyone. We're going to have a small prayer in Arabic. Okay, the prayer, before we're going to start with the prayer, the prayer is that the Almighty must bless this gathering. And whatever happens in this gathering, it must prosper from here in. So, we're not going to ask anyone to close their eyes or something. I'm just going to make the prayer in Arabic, and then we can take it from there. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام والشرف في مرسلين سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعدها مسؤوما وبارك لنا في عملنا ونياتيا مولانا يا رب العالمين اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام وإليك يا عبد السلام فحينا برحمتك ذا رسلام تبارت ربنا وتعاليت يا ذا الجلال والإكرام سمعنا وطعنا وفرانك ربنا يا رب العالمين يا ربي إني لما أنزلت علي من حير فكيرا ويا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكن عذاب النار وعدحنا الجنة من الأبرار يا عزيز يا حفار يا مولنا يا رب العالمين وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلي وصحبه وبارك وسلم ولا الحمد لله رب العالمين شكرا. Thank you. We we've we've started. The program has started. We 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 thank everybody who's here and, and the prayers that, 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 has been, that have been rendered. The, the, the president can come in at any time. Uh, the president of the party. Uh, I, I don't want anybody to, to go around and claim uh, that we installed a new president in this country, but I'm just, I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, that the president, in, in case the president of the country is overseas, he mustn't think that uh, he has been uh, overthrown. But I'm saying the president of this party that is to be launched today, uh, is, he, can, he will, will come at any time. We, we, are, we, are in a, we are in a political launch. We are in a political launch. Can we just start, can we just start a song from the floor? as I sort out my things. Why in a political launch?
I'm sure you are hearing a little bit of band outside. That means the president is, is not far. Is not far. Let's start a song. People fast. Abandu Gukala. 
The president will be here exactly between 10 past 11 and quarter past. Not after that. We have a DJ here. Where is the DJ? DJ, do your thing. Yeah, this is our thing. Goedemorgen. Good morning. Salam alaikum. How are you doing? Are you glad? Are you happy? We're going to make change. We must remove the ANC. We must remove the DA. Yeah. They are corrupt. The time is up. The time is up. Finish and clear. Let's clear. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me quickly to do the necessary. I am Pat Peterson. I'm a former council of the city of Cape Town. And I'm also leading this party. This is my party. This is the leadership here. You're going to vote for them. They must go to parliament and represent you. And they remove the corrupt ones. We must remove them, people. We only got one chance. And that is 2024. If we fail, we will forever fail. But it depends on you. 
your vote counts. So I'm coming to you this morning and I ask you, just borrow your vote for us. Please lend it for us. I see many leaders. I see John Salia and many others. You didn't come for nothing here. We're going to make change. But colleagues, allow me quickly to do the necessary. We need to make this place compliant in terms of the bylaw. There are certain things that we need to comply. But I want to humbly ask you, I want you to, to hear clearly. When we're going to give out T-shirts to you, don't go into the small college with their T-shirts. Please, don't take a T-shirt if you're going to use it for washing. You can only use it to brand this party. So please, people, you must be, you must be a proud member. You must be a proud member when you put that T-shirt on. And so, colleagues, those who smoke outside, don't smoke outside the building. As you klaag rook het, and maak jou top as jy dood, and jy gooi vorm in die mainkie as a blief. Right? So can I call upon the health and safety doctor, Dr. Philander? Is Dr. Philander here? He's our health and safety uh, official. Uh, he will make this place compliant for us this morning. Only when he is done, we are allowed to do what we need to do. Until then, um, doctors, all yours. Morning, everybody. Uh, I just need to advise you. Your paramedic is over there. Her name is Delia. Any minor incidents or whatever, you can go to her. Okay? I'm not a doom prophet, but should something happen if we have to evacuate the building, we all will go, you will, this group will go to your left, this group to your right, and the assembly point is on your left-hand side of the parking area. I said no smoking allowed in the building. Also, people, if you do smoke outside, five meters away from the entrance. So now, I have done two audits in this building last night and this morning, and it is my pleasure to announce that this place is compliant with all occupational health and safety regulations. So now allow me to hand over the occupational health and safety report and the audit report to His Honorable Mr. Uh, Peterson. Thank you. Colleagues, the media can see we comply with all legislation. We are now complying in terms of the law to conduct this meeting in a fair and safe manner. Um, colleagues, my last uh, that I will engage with you will be now. I, the MC, Director of Programs, just allow me to do this, otherwise I will never get an opportunity to do this. To do this. So you see the wall is full. And this wall is not full because it's, it's due to me or due to any leader here. The wall is full because of activists. People like, like you, who came out this morning to support us. We are so grateful, we are thankful, and I want to thank my, my taxi guys. Uh, we want to thank the ASSES uh, on behalf of the protocols. Uh, a, a job well done. Remain in this, in this place, uh, colleagues, is going to be excited. Uh, the MC will take you through all the detail. Um, but have a blessed day. Uh, God bless. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Peterson. Um, I did say, oh my, uh, I did say my name when I was starting, but let me repeat, just in case you, some people were not here. But I must also beg you, because some, of, so some of the people here are still going to give birth. Please. Don't use my name. Uh, I know it's a beautiful name. Please don't use my name uh, to name your children. 
and, and when, when that one year or two year old is called by, uh, by the mom or dad, then I also turn. So please, uh, keep my name a, a, a secret. <laughs> the same name is Lala. The name is Ngosekaya. I'm an apostle uh, by office. I lead a church. Dungnozu Lukeso. Uh, I want to acknowledge all the leaders well, once again that are here. Some are just arriving. Uh, among us who just arrived is the president of Great Commission and his wife, uh, Utadu Makili. Let's give him a round of applause. <clears throat> the, there are a number of leaders that I've already acknowledged, but some of the leaders, I'm going to acknowledge them as they will be speaking, as they will be coming to the podium. Uh, but I wish to, to acknowledge some of the provincial leaders uh, who are also here, who are not seated in the podium. Because this, uh, this launch is so, is so, is so interesting, the, the, the attendance. Is, 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 so, is so massive. It's beyond uh, something we, we, we imagined ourselves, that all provinces are represented here. Uh, I'm looking for, for my list here. I don't want to, 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 to call any name wrong. We, we have we have Princess uh, Lata is from the Northern Cape. Uh, she, uh, she is here in the house. And is a prophet. We have um, uh, all the all the, all, the, all the provincial leaders uh, who are seated here, uh, they, they must get out now, it's that time. It's that time, they must get out now. They are fetching the, the president of the party. The president of the party is at the door. Uh, we, have, we have Bishop Taidi Malite. He's from Free State. We, we have um, Apostle Sipo Maseko uh, is from Mpumalang. And we have Bishop William Malibo. Uh, we, we, yes, he's from Northwest. We also have uh, Prophetess Nadia. Chagavula is from the province of Gauteng. I know uh, he will be speaking, but we, we have Shal uh, 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 Van Veik. Uh, he's a missionary, but I will, I will say more when he's going to be speaking. All the leaders are outside. So the president can come in at any time, but I will, I will give you a sign. I will give you a sign. I will give you a sign. And you will hear the cadets, you will hear the drums. Uh, when, when, when the president is, is seated, we are going to ask the, the president of Great Commission, a president to president, to, to, to render a prayer. Maybe we should take a song. Where is the DJ?
change of eyes.
Marcus Papin, then let's give them again a round of applause. People first. Abandu Kukala. Cleanam Sali Kina. The changes are rising. People are going to change the face of this country are rising up. The purpose of our being here is clear. We are launching a political party. We are not doing anything else. We are launching a political party with strong values that you will hear about. But without uh, me uh, talking further, my job is to, is to call a speaker and then another speaker and then another speaker until we close. President to president, I'm going to call upon the, the, the president of, of Great Commission, uh, the, the father we know to be the president uh, of pastors here in the Western Cape. Um, we have opened with, with, with prayers, uh, but he, he will be praying just because the president has come in. Uh, he will be uh, rendering a, a, a short prayer for that m moment. Over to you, um, uh, Apostle Magili. Shall we all rise? I just want to say thank you, Father, for giving us time to be together this morning. We know that everything must start with God because we are waiting to see a big, big change in South Africa. I am not just here to just say what, what, what maybe you think I'm going to say, but I just want to say God he is the Alpha and Omega. We need to start everything that's going to help our country with God. I'm here to bless this event in the name of Jesus. Because everybody waiting something good or change in South Africa. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we are here this morning. Thank you, Father, to bring us together, giving us time to say, we are here, we are here to see what is going to happen because our children, our wife, our families are dying out there. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless, Lord, this event. Bless the people that they want to see 
a change in South Africa. Yeah, our leader. Yeah, the man that he said he's going to try also to make a change in South Africa. Lord God, I'm here to say, bless us. Bless everybody. Bless South Africa. Because we know without you, we cannot do nothing. If something we are not in, that thing cannot go any far. Lord, you know you are Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. Usisi kalo. Usisi pelo. Kulungulu weto ingwele. Kapante kwa kongo sasina kwenza anto. Konge siku shanga nele ule ndao. Hili zweli inye. Eli tima usindi ya umzanta Afrika. Sinita i change ngos. Sinita ngos sintela. Eza usindi isa. Izwele etu. Baba weto ingwele. Nas in Cosilitas Zalentangan Ziz out in Cosnam Sanje Zifunu Kalolucha. Help us, Lord, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Nagum Kontuago Nagum Tuago goes to Miss Le Pam Qualentangano. Msigalek and Cosi Nigga Mansa Ugus and Cosi Gwindau Afale Pumela was a Pumel. The Akala Congo Nukala. This is where we send the Lagaka Melisse. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Tata. Thank you, Tata. See, we, we, we may be seated. Every part of this event of this event is very important. Uh, each and every part of it. That is why I'm not going to say we are going to, to, to the most important part, because every part is most important. We are, we are unveiling now. The child must be named. I don't know if you hear me. Now the child must be named. Everything that was covered must be uncovered. I'm inviting the media houses that are here. This is, this is the time. And they also must, must, must be ready to, to lift a little bit uh, these this, um, uh, mics uh, that, that, that are here. Because we are going to, to do that. Uh, I'm calling none other than the president of this party to lead us as we, as we unveil the name, as we unveil the logo of this political party. Can, 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 I, can, I, can I ask that... Uh, uh, there be there be some somebody standing there in the next next to that banner. Uh, it must it must actually come in front. We are opening everything now. The mics. Can the leadership come? Pre nam sali kin. Pre nam sali kin. Abantu. Abantu. Kukala Abantu Viva ACC Viva 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 Alliance of Citizens for Change Viva 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 Alliance of Citizens for Change Viva Viva 
Viva South Africa! Viva! Viva! So this is the name which is Alliance Alliance of Citizens for something and that is change. We want change. The name is in short a dot c dot c because each name stands for something we want a alliance with you and the second thing it must be about you again at the center of everything we do and because we together will bring change we'll make speeches not now but i'm just excited to finally answer to the media. You know, they've been asking, hey man, give us something. <laughs> These ones. So now, to our friends, the members of the fourth estate, this is the logo. This is a kudu. 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 Could. What are we voting? Vat on STEM. Vat. Vat can say us on STEM views. Vat can yell say us on STEM views. On STEM find the kudu. Yeah. It's a kudu. Yes. It's a bog. It's a bog. You bog. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, the, the ears, the ears, thank you, the, thank you, all right, thank you, the, the ears here is the South African flag. If you zoom into it and lift it out, it's all the colors of the South African flag which represents the diversity that we have in South Africa. There is no other party that is diverse like us. Look around you here. The most diverse, and this is not just this thing of talking about it. This is what we are showing. The flag of South Africa. And you look at the horns, you are able to see that we want to lead with compassion. But we will give our blood and everything, our sweat, to protect this country. And we respect the, the souls of those who have fallen to defend and deliver the democracy that we have. And that is why you've got the red in it. And white is peace. Purple is our basic color. It's our color. Not these other colors. Now my, we had to go and find purple. Uh, what you see, and it's royal purple. Yes. Yes. It's royal purple. It goes with trust, it goes with uh, humility, but it goes with dignity, and it goes with honesty and loyalty. So we, we are clear that royalty is what South Africa needs that people are going to serve this country, respecting and trusting the people of God. We saw here our friends, the Imam that pray days, my friend, and uh, the religions that are here, it's diversity. I will make a speech now so that you understand why we are here. But this is the logo. We have the T-shirts. We are going to give them now because we, we are not here to try and play some Mickey Mouse. This is reality. Uh, when I got up, I tried to pinch myself. Is it happening? It is happening. Uh, thank the leaders here. The leadership here. Uh, this is leadership of the organization. Yes. I, I also want to say, because it's important, None of us are members yet. We're going to sign membership now of the organization. Yes. 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 We founded this organization because you asked us to do so. Sure. Yes. 
but now we must all become the members. Ne? There is founding members, but we need to do it now so that everybody is a paid up member of the organization. Then you can hold us here to account. It's important. And membership is not free. It's 10 rents. It's almost free. Because we want you to take personal responsibility to say I'm a member. It's almost free. Yeah, almost. Thank you very much. I love you all. May God be with you. Where is that person? Can we can we start a song? all the provinces of this country all the provinces of this country are represented in this table are taking membership of ACC after that we are going to go to to leadership to, to statements by provinces So the, the provincial leaders who are seated here to, to, to come up and, and sign as well. They are from, from the provinces. Can you, can you write my name? 
Okay, I will. I will. Okay. Upu DJ. Where is the DJ?
If you want to witness him signing his fall, I've acknowledged all the leaders, all the political leaders that are here, but I've noted that there is leadership all the way from Limpompo uh, that has arrived, uh, led by, by Dr. Nati uh, Fisher. Um, let, let's acknowledge them with a, with a round of applause. A round of applause! We acknowledge the leadership, the political leadership. Um, we, we, are, we have various parties uh, that, that, are, that have come to witness uh, this launch. Now we are moving, uh, we are moving leaders, we are moving. We are going to provincial statements. Just three minutes, each is provincial leader. And we are going to start with the Western Cape. 
The reason for that is that the Western Cape is the host and, and they, they will also be welcoming us properly, setting the pattern because we are in their province. Uh, Leader Junaid. We are not feeling a, a, everything right now because That's the right. time is against us. You, you sign here. You sign here. And I'm calling you to the podium now. Ja, 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 sit and relax, I will call you proper. DJ Gaiba Menno. Can we all be seated now? If, if you didn't get a t-shirt, you will get it. Can we all be seated? We, we need order now in the house. We need order in the house. We need order in the house. I'm calling the provincial, the, the, the provincial representatives now to, before we go to the messages of support, we have, we have two messages of support. We, 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 we're now going to the statements by provincial representatives. As I said, Provinces are represented here. Um, there are people who represent um, the people and the aspirations of their provinces. And we are going to start with the, with the host province. I'm going to be very strict with time because we are managing time. Uh, each leader, each provincial representative will get three minutes to say their say. To say their say. Kleina mtale kleina. Viva ACC, viva. viva. We are calling on the, the, the leader, the representative of, 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 the, of the Western Cape, the host province. Uh, Mr. Junaid. 
Mr. Junaid Hussein. Uh, he is uh, representing the province of the Western Cape. Shall we welcome him to the stage? Shall we welcome the leader to the stage? This is the Western Cape representative. Yes, 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 oh, yes, 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 I want to play that. Welcome oh, to oh, the people. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Cape Town. Let's have a party. Oh, 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 oh. Cape Town welcomes you. Welcome to ACC. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. From the Western Cape, we'd like to welcome all the other provinces to Cape Town. Welcome to Cape Town. And to you people, welcome to the ACC. ACC, we are here for social justice, meaning equality for everybody not an elite group getting one thing and the other people not getting any. We strive for success for each and everybody. At this particular party, we all have a say. Nothing is going to be done at, in this party without the community. Our representatives are not going to be ATM councillors and ATM ministers. We will do what the communities want us to do because all communities are different. Kailitsa has a need, a different need to what Tafelsig has. Lentegere has a different need to what Stanfontein has. And, and that is how we are going to do our reps must be on the ground with our people because we can never achieve social justice on our own. We need to do it together. There's a lot of things that we're going to do. I listen to a long script, but I'm going to cut it down very shortly. We are putting a pledge to the communities of the Western Cape and all the other provinces. My colleagues at the back will probably do the same. We want to do some fundamental social justice changes in our education system, our health system. Okay, all be quiet. Be quiet, please. Be quiet. Whatever you are doing, do it, do it quietly. Changes in all aspects of most important. Can you raise the volume of this mic? Safety and security. That is something very lacking, especially in this province. And our communities, we need to stand together as we are one. This party, there'll be participation for everybody. It's an opportunity and we will not pick uh, leaders based on you've got matric, you've got a varsity degree. We do it on people working with people and the communities will elect their people they want to represent for them in parliament and in the local councils. So I'm not going to talk long. As a member of the ACC, in good standing with the clear conscience, I am committed to follow this pledge and align myself with the commitment of the party. 
I believe in the South Africa of all persons and endeavor to help deliver it in all my, my deeds and with all my might in public as well as in my private capacity. I genuinely believe change is going to come and we, when I say we, I mean you and all of us here. We can only do it together. That together we will achieve social justice in our lifetime, not in the year after. We will receive it now. So ladies and gentlemen, it's social justice now. The people come first. The change we all need. We are the change of champions. Now, ACC, as the, the president announced, it's the alliance of citizens for change. Now it's a new political party. We also, you know, if you have a headache or you have flu, you go to the chemist, you get ACC 200. Yeah. Now this is ACC 900 for the nine provinces. Oh, it's got the other is what was gaan doen. En on donut, ACC staat ook voor all communities consulted. Not the party makes a, con a decision, not consulting the people like it's happening now with the district six thing, no, no consultation. This party will always consult with the communities and put communities first. Thank you very much. Let's give him a round of applause once again. Now, we, we, are, we are going in alphabetical order. We are going to call upon the representative of Northwest, Bishop Charlie Mutabi, on the stage. Let's welcome him. Viva ACC, viva. viva! It's like you're not here. I said, Viva ACC, viva! viva. Amancha! Pambili, Siaya Pambili! Fuarendu, Anshan, Fuarendu! Ahaman Patata! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Northwest. We are speaking Tswana Ribuashwana. Kori Chwante Nkwala Ribarolo. So I am here to represent a Northwest province. Uh, before I can talk in two minutes that I have, I want us to greet our beautiful leader that we are given by God. We are here to support you. We are here to say Northwest is where we are going. South Africa shall hear this. Um, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say this. We are not just coming to talk. Talking is cheap, but doing is difficult. All of our years, people have been talking like preachers in the church. But now, we are not going to be the preachers. We are going to be the doers. We are going to do what we talk. Uh, change is not what we are going to talk about, but we are going to make sure that change is coming. Many times, many years, since 1994, we have been preaching the same thing, never saw a change. But now we are saying, no more talking. Let me tell you, if I could learn how to use the sound language, when they interview or they talk to you, you must just say to them, mm. Then after saying, mm, and say, mm. You see now, we are quiet, but we shall bring a change. Oh, come on, somebody, come on. Somebody says to this, change. Change, South Africa, change. Young people, we are here to change South Africa. 
Adults who are here to change South Africa. Ministers of the gospel, we are here to change South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, women, mothers, we are here to change South Africa. We are not just saying vote, but your vote is the change. Now, in Northwest, we have a problem of talking. When it comes to administration, uh, running the government is a problem. Many municipalities, they are under administration. That must change. Every short time, the government is rescheduling people, rush, reshuffling time to time. But because of the corruption that is going on. But now we are saying we have to be loyal. We're going to be loyal to you. Loyal to South Africa. And loyal to ourselves. You know, as I sit down, job must be created. Listen, guys. This thing of giving you houses of RDPs while you are not working is a waste of time. Let's give you a job and build your own house. We implore you to build your own house. Ah, patata. Cleaner, Michelle, cleaner. Casi suana ritia, muachitia. Ya. Impala Africa and Sikitazam. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are not just going to give you promise. We are born again. We are believers in Christ, not uh, just med mediocre. So we're going to pray, trust God. Whatever we say, it must come to pass. I'm <laughs> Change is coming. It is bound to come. And it has arrived. We are now going to, to invite Northern Cape. Northern Cape is in the house. Northern Cape. We have a Prophet Feroza Van Veik all the way from the Northern Cape. Greetings to everyone here. Um, it seems like um, it's only the Northern Cape that has beautiful people this side. I see that except for Inesh, um, I am the only rose amongst the thorns. <laughs> um, indeed, it is a wonderful opportunity being here, seeing a beautiful people in front of me. Um, and, you know, the one thing that is really striking as I'm looking at these beautiful people is the unity in our diversity. We are each from a different tribe, from a different race, from a different culture. But as where, where I am standing, we are one. And that is one of the most beautiful things. And this is the South Africa we want. This is the nations we want. This is the families we need. This is the communities that we so much need. Um, ACC is a diverse party where we celebrate all cultures, all races, each and every individual's uniqueness, irrespective of our demographic, where we come from, where we, where we abide from. But we celebrate each and every individual for who you are. And together, each and every individual is making up this beautiful face that I am seeing today. In the Northern Cape, it is one of the most, not one of the most, it is actually the most beautiful province in South Africa. The Northern Cape is the most beautiful in South Africa. I know that everyone's going down there. 
The Northern Cape is the biggest province in South Africa with the smallest population. One of the challenges that we are facing is that mining is our biggest source of income and also our biggest source of the lack that our people are struggling within our province. Within our diverse culture, we have opened our borders and portals to each and everyone because we respect each and everyone. There's a place for all of us under the sun, yet we remain challenged as we are welcoming each and everyone in our borders. With ACC, we are saying that each and everyone, we are not breeding a generation that are entitled, but we are working towards what we have inherited. I don't know if people are getting what I am saying. We have inherited this land. We are stewards. We have inherited wealth. And each and every one of us are partakers in that. So we as the Northern Cape ACC says that we want equality. We want fairness. We want social justice for all, for everyone. We are not looking at race. We are not looking at our ethnicity. We are not looking at your background. But we are celebrating. We are taking hands. We are becoming one. Every one of us, um, my hand cannot function without my finger. Or it can function, but not fully so. So the truth of the matter is that we need one another. As we are embracing our, diverse, our diverseness, as we are embracing, embracing each other's uniqueness, let us make use of this opportunity and build the South Africa that we want our children to live in. I don't want my kids one day to ask that, what is it that you have done creating a better future for us? Or I, would, I don't want them to go through the same struggles that we are facing or going through the very same things that we went through or that our parents, our forefathers go through. We've already crossed bridges when it comes to cultures. We've already crossed bridges when it comes to races. People are afraid to speak of races, of cultures. However, it is a fact that we are challenged by these issues. I think it is we are high time that we address them and that we move past them and that we are building the nation that we are all looking for. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let, let's, let's give a round of applause one second. We are now going to call on Mpumalanga. The province of Mpumalanga is represented. And it is represented by none other than Apostle Sipo Maseko. Let's welcome him to the stage. Viva ACC Viva. Viva! Viva ACC Viva! Viva! Uh, we are putting people first. We are here for the great change. Uh, I greet you all, uh, and I greet you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for giving us uh, this opportunity with this great vision. The new uh, baby is born today. Uh, as ACC, we believe that access to resources is a fundamental principle of social justice. Unfortunately, uh, in South Africa, it's not like that. Uh, we can see that the poverty unemployment and other stuff has covered the communities. Okay. Uh, because of our history and then or our, our educational background or employment and stuff. But uh, we strongly believe as ACC that uh, uh, the access to resources is a fundamental principle of social justice. Okay. Uh, 
then that is why uh, as ACC we aim to expand uh, health education uh, also rural development to South Africa Mr. President please help us as Bumalang uh, because uh, I think I had a few months or a few years to come. Uh, like many people in Bumalanga, they'll lose jobs. As now the government is planning to shut down mines. And um, uh, as ACC, please just intervene in the situation. Also, the issue of rural development because Sampumalanga it's more rural than other provinces. And then it's a, and also it's a richest uh, province with minerals. And um, although we are affected uh, by load shedding more, more than other provinces, whereas we are the one who produce coals for all these power stations. But as ACC, we are ready to bring the change in our community. We are ready. We are ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. That was Mpumalanga. That was Mpumalanga. We, we are now going to the, the, the representative of, of, of the province who are going to well, uh, he says uh, he's, he, he, it's a province with a surname. We are going to KwaZulu Natal. KwaZulu Natal is here. Uh, he, he, as, as you can hear, it has a surname. Uh, it's represented by none other than Dr. Njangase, all the way uh, from Newcastle. In case that, and let's welcome him, Dr. Njangase. San Bonani. Good day, everyone. Moloeni. Goedemiddag. Thank you so much, uh, President and uh, the House at large for this opportunity. I'm coming from KZN as we as the program director has already introduced me. Thank you, program director. The change South Africa needs. Uh, so as the province of KZN, we are saying to you, President, we stand with you to address uh, the social injustice that we are facing in South Africa. We are joining hands uh, with you. We stand with you, President. Especially from where I'm coming from, KZN is faced with a massive uphill battle to rebuild the provincial economy, devastated by deadly rioting and floods over the past two years. In addition to two years of COVID-19, lockdown, winning business and investors' confidence undermined by board events has been ex exacerbated by political instability in the ANC in the province, which sparked off a new wave of killings ahead of the local government elections in November. In addition, we are struggling with, we have got a crisis of water, uh, President, and uh, eight of 54 municipalities is under administration as we speak. Eight uh, of 54 municipalities in KZN have been placed under administration by the province of uh, 
the collapse of municipality services, the result of corruption, lack of capacity, and political conflict within and between parties. Drug, drugs, alcoholism, homelessness, people they don't have uh, homes, they don't have uh, a shelter under their heads. So we are saying we are joining you to make a change that South Africa needs. Thank you. Thank you, my leader. Let's give him a round of applause all the way from KwaZulu Natal. All the way from KwaZulu Natal. See us here, Gauteng. Uh, the province of Gauteng is represented. Uh, and it is aptly represented by none other than Apostle Asanda Chagavula. Let's welcome him to the stage. Viva ACC, viva! Viva! Viva ACC, viva! Viva! Forward with social justice, forward! forward. Pagama Masizole, Pagama! Pagama Masizole, Pagama! Greetings to the beautiful people of Cape Town, the mother city, the leading tourist destination of South Africa. Greetings to you, my president, and I'm proud to call you president. And I believe I will not be ashamed to call you president. Thank you, program director, for this opportunity. I want to also acknowledge all the leaders who are present in this place. As it was earlier announced, I'm from Gauteng, the city of kings, because kings, they rule with gold. If you want gold, come to us, baby. <laughs> Allow me to, to say this further. 20% of South Africans are in Gauteng. And Gauteng has a shocking 1.6 land size of South Africa. And you can imagine with such a small land size, Gauteng accounts for the largest population in South Africa, which is 20%. Social justice in South Africa will bring about an expedited will of regional development, ensuring that South Africans do not have to relocate to well-developed areas in order to realize social justice. South Africans must realize prosperity where they are. If all of us are to move to Gauteng, opportunities of prosperity are slim if all of us are chasing for the same gold. This is a historic time in history where South Africans will no longer vote for their fears, but they will vote for their values. Yeah. ACC represents the values that South, Africa, South Africans dream of, but do not vocalize. This is a citizens-based movement where you will reclaim your voice and confidence and you will take the current ruling party
to task. It is time for change. Substitution. Universal human rights are inherent to all individuals. Regardless of socioeconomic status, human rights and social justice are inevitably intertwined. Having one without the other is impossible to say the less. In this country, these rights manifest in laws granting freedom of speech, voting rights, criminal justice, protection, and many other fundamental rights. We as ACC unapologetically and unequivocally are determined with our uncompromising commitment to driving social justice, the social justice agenda in South Africa. South Africans are losing, are losing faith in this country. It is about time that we respect color, religion, and the cultures of South Africa. And we pray to God that this country does not perish in our time. No, not under my watch. I pledge and I take this responsibility as Asanda Chagavula, a man of God, and I pray that God may bless South Africa. I pray that God may prosper South Africa. I pray that God may give South Africans groundbreaking ideas that will propel this country forward. It's time for us to rise as South Africans. If we miss this time, there will be an indictment against us. Our children will hold us accountable. But history will record that changes rose to the occasion. Forward, social justice forward. Pambili, Masisole Pambili. Social justice now, social justice now. Asichiiki, Asichiiki. That was the city of gold. Uh, Asanda Chagavula. All the way from Gauteng. Go go see a, a free start. Uh, there's something that used to be said uh, about Transvaal and free start, but, but I'm not there, but see a free start. We are going to free state. We are going to, to, to invite uh, to the stage Bishop Ephraim Malete. Singers here against and that are fake. Let's continue to clap until he gets here. All the way from the free state. Viva! ACC! Viva! Viva! Uh, greetings to everyone. Greetings to my president. Uh, I'm here to represent Free State. As we speak, we say, Hack Free Start, Transvaal is fair. Uh, now we have arrived from Free State. I'm not going to talk too much. But I will also plead to my president on free state. There are a lot of people, they are dying because, because of hunger. Most important things, we've got uh, the mine, they are closed. There's a lot of zamazama. 
We have here, we have, we have here on the media, last month, on Virginia, mine, there are 33 people who are dying underground because of they are going to find the gold. Mr. President, please, don't forget free state. Please, my president, I put my hope and trust on you. You will change. The time is arrived to change South Africa, to make South Africa beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Sir Pondwin, all the way from the Eastern Cape, a Pondwin. When you get to the Eastern Cape, they say, Cabo Bot, we pond. They are the only province. So, all the way from the Eastern Cape, Mr. Sitembele Tom, why not the Petail is we? But he, he would like to be addressed as Mr. Stembele Tom. Let's clap those hands until he arrives here on the podium. Um Tangentong. All the way. Greetings, everyone. Jaboli uh, Senagwe, Mr. President. Uh, my name is Stembele Tom. Uh, I'm coming from Eastern Cape, East London. Uh, I won't talk too much. I'll just uh, focus on what I'm writing here. Mr. President, as Eastern Cape, we are happy that you are here. Ignite the hope that we have lost. Uh, we believe it, it is easy to confuse the terms equity and equality, but those equitable things are not always equal. Because of that confusion, people leave Eastern Cape and decided to go to another provinces. When you check Eastern Cape, Eastern Cape is the biggest uh, uh, province in South Africa. I think it comes the second province and also Yes, course, I go to a, a province here, my car. But when it comes to Tonga and the Tetua, province here, my car, people rather leave Eastern Cape and go to another provinces because of this confusion I'm talking about. The, the leaders of this country, they they decided to ignore people of Eastern Cape, although they benefit from Eastern Cape. Because if you face the reality, even the ruling party, they benefiting from Eastern Cape. Each and every party comes, they benefit from Eastern Cape. But when it comes to take care of the people, they ignore Eastern Cape. I'm not here to talk to the Western Cape people. I'm here to say to you, Mr. President, as Eastern Cape, we are looking to you. I know you from the past, but we are looking to you, and I trust you. You are a man of God, but please, just stand here in front of these people and fight for Eastern Cape. I thank you. Viva ACC, viva! Uh, thank you so much to the leadership, to the provincial leadership that have expressed their hearts uh, in this gathering. We, we feel led in the provinces.
we feel led, we feel you, we feel your leadership already in their provinces. That we do not doubt. And we already feel that the, a the ACC is on the ground in the provinces. Uh, for that, we thank you. Um, and and, and as, as the leadership collective, uh, we thank you and, and, and the people uh, who, who back you, who supported you to be here. Uh, take the message um, uh, uh, that uh, indeed it had happened. Change uh, had happened. Uh, the changers are here. We are going to move on we, with our program to, to the message of support. We, we were supposed to have a... I'm, I'm going to just show these things. Uh, this is, these are books as well as, as, well as uh, audios. Yeah, audio books, yeah. Uh, audio books and, 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 the, and the printed books. Um, they are a, a gift uh, that has just been delivered now to ACC. Uh, they have been just delivered by, by, by Mr. Charles Van Veik. Uh, who was supposed to be delivering a message of support. He was sitting that side, uh, but um, uh, because of other engagements, um, uh, he was seated with some Americans here, um, as, as I said earlier on, because of other uh, engagements with them. So they, they, they will be having uh, some meeting uh, there. So he had apologized, so then, then he left this gift to the ACC. We, we, we thank him in absentia for that, and we have already thanked him as the, as the collective leadership. Thank you so much. Now we're going to, to go to Alicia Marcus, a young person, before we get to the keynote address by, by our president. But before we go to him, can we can we just take a song from the from the from from the floor? Let, let, let's take a song. Let, person I'm going to introduce, I said, is Alessio Marcus. He served as Deputy Junior Mayor of the City of Cape Town, Deputy Speaker of the Mandela Children's Parliament, the Chairperson of the Representative Council of Learners in the Western Cape. Shall we receive him? With a, rose, uh, with, a, with, a, with a round of hands, Alessio Marcus. As he says, I support what is happening. I support this leader. The young people are represented. The young people are represented. Are the young people in the house? The young people are represented. Right, good morning, everyone. 
We're going to have to do much better than that. We are at a launch of a political party, a new political party. Good morning, everyone. That is what I wanted to hear. What an absolute pleasure it is for me to be here today. I am Alicia Marcus. I am 19 years of age. Are you trying to say I'm looking 45? Please, please don't do that. I am 19 years of age and I have served as the Deputy Junior Mayor of the City of Cape Town, the Deputy Speaker of the Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament, including the Chairperson of the Representative Council of Learners in the Western Cape. So they said that I need to come here and I need to give a short message of support. So I wanted to start off by saying, Masizoli Mkasela, President of the Alliance of Citizens for Change. An inspiration, but more so a role model. Somebody who I have looked up to since the age of young. One of the youngest members of parliament ever within the Republic of South Africa. That alone deserves a round of applause. His Excellency, the President, Masizoli Mkasela, is how I will be addressing you from now on. Because 2024 is going to come, and ACC will take charge. Alliance of change, of change, or of citizens, excuse me, for change. Listen here, I need to get used to it, believe me. I need to get used to it. Alliance of citizens for change. And change is what we need in this country more than ever, particularly at this point in time. Youth participation is what we need in this country more than ever, particularly at this point in time. This morning I woke up, it was 6 o'clock. I woke up, I went, I went to the kitchen, I put on the kettle. There was no electricity. I decided, okay, you know what, I'll wait until 8 o'clock because usually electricity is off for two hours. 8 o'clock came, my sister said, no, you need to wait until 10 o'clock because it's going to be off for four hours. Alliance of change is what we need. We need change, particularly at this point in time. Youth participation, I said, is of utmost importance. We are dealing with a situation where our youth is not involved in the decisions of our country. I am challenging the president and each and every single provincial leader by 2024, we need a young person sitting right next to you guys here. Yeah. By 2024, we need young people in the leadership structure of this political party. Because youth are the future, but more importantly, we are the now. And until we realize that, we will never move forward as a country. My point that I'm coming to is that I speak to our young people, especially today, and I say we must never be mistaken why our country and what our government rather does not push for youth to vote because our government knows that a country can only be shaken and awakened by its youth so we must never be surprised when our government does not make a big fuss about us not going to the voting polls and the voting stations because they know that once we go we will not vote for them and we will vote them out but i allude to each and every single one of you we require change within our country, more than ever particularly, as I said, at this point in time. We cannot continue with the trajectory that we've been continuing with since 1994, and nothing good has been happening for our people. Social justice, now I was looking at the seven core values, ethical leadership being number one. We do not need another, and I'm not going to mention a political party, but particularly I'll mention this one. We do not need another Action SA. We do not need another DA. We do not need another ANC. We need an ACC with ethical leadership that will ensure that we have inclusivity, that will ensure that we can have constitutional democracy, that will ensure that each and every single one of our leaders ensure that they are accountable to the people, to ensure that we have fairness within our structures, that we have universal rights, human rights for each and every single South African citizen, and number one, that we have integrity. 
that is what we require at this point in time. So, Masi, I'm going to leave you with a, a short word of encouragement, just a quote that I live by for each and every single one of us as ACC members, because we're not going to be leaving here until we sign that membership. Like His Excellency the President said, it is 10 rand, it is almost free. But change does not come for free. So we need to ensure that we sign that membership so that we can push forward and move forward. But I'm going to leave you all with my favorite quote and it goes as follows. Believe when others doubt. Work when others refuse. Save when others waste. Stay when others go and you will win when others lose. I thank you. Before we, let, let's give him a round of applause once again. Now you believe me when I said the, the young people are represented. They are represented. And they are here. Uh, they, they, they are making their mark known. Uh, they are making their presence felt that they are here. We are, we are getting now to that time um, where the president is going to speak. But before the president speak, I'm going to, we, we are going to render a, a, an, an anthem, the national anthem, led by Kaya Nongila. Uh, may I invite uh, our brother uh, to, to come forward, uh, Brother Kaya Nongila. He will lead us as we render the anthem before the president speaks. Shall I ask? Shall I ask that uh, we all rise? Start from the top. Sisigeli Africa, ma upava Yesu pando loyo izwai mita na zoye tu go.
Now, if I have, I, I may have your ears. I wanted to do this after I had sung. The man we have seen is Kaya Lechu. She lives a member of the band, the Kukuletu Tenors from Kukuletu. He also does uh, theater and has worked for, for, for the city, for Cape Town, and has done world tours like Russia. He has been at Russian Opera Festival and has been to London at Royal London Opera. Let's give him a round of applause. It's happening, and it's here. Shall we take a soak from the floor as we are going to welcome the president? But I will introduce the president properly. champion of the people, a man who carries the aspirations of many, a man with a big heart who walks at the top, born in Natu village in a small town called Tolo. He has been in Cape Town since 1992, born with three siblings and Masi is the eldest. And both parents are still alive and they, are, they stay in Makaza. He has been in public life since 2003 to date. In 2003 to 2009, he was a councillor in the city of Cape Town. 2009 to 2014, he was in the national parliament a shadow minister responsible for home affairs. From 2014 to date, from 2014 to 2022, he served in the provincial legislature. And in 2014, he chaired a portfolio committee on local government. In 2019, he was appointed to be the Speaker of the Provincial Parliament until 2022. This is a man who holds a master's degree in governance and leadership. He continues to make education fashionable. South Africa, you have a leader. In South Africa, a leader was born. Today, the leadership of that man we shall see from now on, going forward, we shall see the leadership of that man. As a Funisara, there is no doubt about his political strength. He has been a politician for more than 20 years. He has served the people of this country with integrity. Few are the men of his caliber and integrity. Allow me, 
allow me, people of South Africa, to introduce to you and to present to you Masizola Mnasela, the president of ACC, Alliance of Citizens for Change. He is that man I was talking about. Iglesia, Pagama, Pagama, Iglesia, Iglesia, it unity, unity, Danam, Iglesia, unity. Unity in the name of Iglesia. Unity in the name of ACC Iglesia. Oh! In Pagama, Pagama, Iglesia, Iglesia. In Pagama, Pagama ACC Iglesia Pagama Pagama ACC Iglesia Pagama Pagama ACC Iglesia A unity Unity of people, Iglesia. Iglesia. Hey, unity. unity. Unity of people, Iglesia. Iglesia. Hey, unity. Unity, unity is this, Iglesia. 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 Viva, viva ACC, viva, viva ACC, viva. Abantu, abantu, kukala, kukala. Sisa wamba na ustreta masele. Sisa wamba na ustreta masele. Thank you very much. Thank you. The leadership of the Alliance of Citizens for Change, members of the Diplomatic Corps, leaders of civil society organizations, political leaders who have joined us and who are watching, some of whom in the online platforms. Members of the different media houses, our fourth estate, our esteemed guests, fellow South Africans, whose struggles are ignored every single day. Social justice activists, the change agents, the changers, the change champions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rockland Civic Center. The, the leaders of our glorious movement have spoken. And they have all spoken about something so significant and dear to the hearts and minds of many South Africans. 
They spoke about change. They spoke about the cries and the desires of the many people, millions of our people, who are languishing in hunger, whose prospects for the next meal remains a mystery because there is no jobs in South Africa. There is not even a chance that they may find a job opportunity. And the leaders have asked me that let us please work together to find an opportunity to make a dent, just a slight dent, in the kind of demons and the ghosts that confronts our people every single day. And that is to bring hope, a sense of appreciation, compassion, and caring that somebody out there is listening, that somebody cares, and somebody is prepared to do something to change the plight of the many people of our country. We have given up hope. It is not an accident, therefore, that you are in this venue. I want to thank you. Can we please put our hands together for this beautiful leadership here? We are a new organization. You've just seen we launched it now. We signed membership. I'm a new member. Everybody here. Because this is your movement. Because we are about people. We did not come here because we are clever. We have come here to say, give us your support. Pray for us. Because South Africa, for the change that we need to see, we must pray to God to give us the leaders we deserve. Because if you do not do that and ask God to give us people who have a relationship with him so that they may think about us, at least when they are eating, they can just think about those of us who have nothing to eat at night. You see, when I talk about our values, which you'll hear shortly, it has been stated, the leadership touched on many of them. I'm talking about why we are in this venue. We chose this venue because of all the things that I've said here. We want leadership that has got a heart. And I'm happy that uh, the former honorable member, the Yaka, he was with me in parliament, I was his speaker. When he brought this letter to me saying I'm being fired by my party, I said, don't worry. <laughs> Just go and pray and say, Allah, Allah, I come as I am, because your sorrows will be comforted. He is here now as a member of the ACC. Thank you. And that was important because we were a diverse political party. We prayed to our gods. I prayed to my God. He prayed to his God. But we believe that God loves us, all of us. And if we give up on him, we must never ask ourselves why things go the way they go. But what is more significant is that we need two things, a change of heart and a change of mind. If God can give us both, we are blessed. But at least if he can't give us both, we are asking 
God give us leaders with a heart. Leaders who will think about those people who have no opportunity to find something to eat every single day. And we're asking for nothing fancy. We're asking that let us be remembered. And ACC, the Alliance of Citizens for Change, will deliver a government that has got a heart and a mind, but more so a government that has a heart to care for those who are most vulnerable in our society. Because we want ethical leadership where the decisions about who must work in government will not be taken based on who you know. We know these criminals, they, they sleep with women for jobs. We know these criminals, they sell a job to somebody who has no job. They wanted to pay for the job. But you say, I don't have a job. I need a job opportunity. They are saying pay. In this venue in 1983 is where civil society organizations descended. They came together to pray for South Africa. They were religious leaders. They were civil society organizations. They were political activists and ordinary South Africans who loved South Africa. That is 40 years ago on the 20th of August in 1983. It is therefore not an accident that we are here today. It's not an accident that their souls, the spirit, and the undying fight for a change has been reborn today. That South Africa shall be governed on the values of compassion the principles of social justice, the value of transparency, the value of human rights, which is, we talk about universal human rights, constitutional democracy, and of course, fairness, that nobody must feel that they are less important because of the color of their skin in this country. <clears throat> Please allow us to lead South Africa. We want to pay attention to, I would mention at least three things. We need to rethink how we deal with the economic policy. They, it doesn't make sense that the supply of the job market and the demand side, when you go to school, to universities, TVETs, we create an opportunity to train a mind of a human being. But you must not train people for jobs that do not exist. We need to embark on a program that is driven by scientific evidence-based data system. That says, what kind of a skill do we need to create in 2030? But what kind of a job that exists that time? Then you train for something. But we have a serious dilemma. We train for jobs that do not exist. We're not going to talk about we'll give you jobs, a job in every home, other lunatics, a job in every home. We want a job for every person who needs it. Every man and woman, young and old, regardless of how they look and the language they speak or the accident of their birth, they must be able to say, I am fit, I am ready, and I am able to, con to contribute in the creation of a South Africa that grows, but a South Africa that creates an opportunity 
and access to opportunities for everybody. And that means we will be able to grow the economy. And therefore, you'll be able to have people that choose this, whether they need access to a free home or they need a job to build houses for themselves. Because you give a house, and when the person gets an opportunity, they sell it because they needed the job. You don't understand. People say we need jobs, you come... I take the RTP, and they must buy furniture. Where do they get money to buy furniture? So we want to have an integrated approach where we can give housing stands to people with the security of tenure. We want a title deed. Don't you need that? We need to give power to the people. As ACC, we don't care where that house is. All we want is that it's your own. The security of tenure, if it's a stand that is open, if it's your title there, you can build something when you have a job. Yes. It's going to be a little bit of a little let me translate for my sisters and brothers who may have been lost in that message. Where I was born some 42 years ago, now I've just told you when I was born and how old I am. I'm older than how I look. In my village there, if I were to go to the chief <laughs> and say, Chief, I need a home, <laughs> they were going to black me. The chief expects me to say, May I please get a piece of land? And then he asks, or she, because also women now are chiefs there, which is very progressive. We fought for it for a long time. The chief will say, Okay. This is my advisory council. We will give you this land, but you must build on it. That means people need security of tenure, because when you've got that, you can build your own. Even there, we're going to want and demand that uh, the rural homesteads, people must get title deeds, so that they can use it to capitalize it. So when I spoke about ethical leadership, I also meant meritocratic appointment in government positions. Don't employ a plumber, but we need an electrician, because this one is your member of your family. We want, to, do you go to a dentist when you've got a problem with your stomach? So why is government doing this nonsense to us? We want the government of the Alliance of Citizens for Change the right person will be employed for the right job. Because when you create enough jobs and opportunities for such, attract investment, and people know you don't steal from them, there will be many jobs. Imagine here, if we were to bring 50 plates of meals, right? and then we want all of us to eat, are we going to be able to eat? But what must we do? That means you must cook more to accommodate enough people. That's what government fails to do. You need to create more job opportunities so that everybody can have access. Now, they are worried about creating quotas. Ne? that uh, they even said they don't want some people to get jobs in some provinces because they look in a particular way. ACC is coming for social justice, that you will not be judged on the, base of your, on the basis of the color of your skin. You will be judged on the content of your character. Your skill is going to lend you a job because you are fit and proper. ESCOM would not have died we almost couldn't start this meeting today, the launch here, now. Because ESCOM 
Also, you know, these criminals here who govern this province, they, they know that we're coming here. They tried some tricks yesterday, trying to, to close the door. We said you'll open this door. We were not playing here. And we're not asking any favor from any human being on earth because we've got a living God. Yeah. When we talk about inclusivity, we mean that every one of the members of this family called South Africa must feel that they belong here. That they are not second citizens. Because many people felt that way during apartheid. And they, some feel now that way during a democratic government. We must be clear that South Africa belongs to all of those who live in it. Black, white, Indian, uh, colored, Asian. It does not matter how you define yourself. If you have a South African ID book like mine, you belong here. But we must also be very careful. We must protect the sovereignty of this country. For constitutional democracy to work, we must know who lives in South Africa. <laughs> if I have got an ID book, we must also have a document to show. Uh, we're not apologetic about that. Because I cannot compete in a job with some boat who does not have a document. And some are even fired at work for people without a document. And employers allow it. Because some of, some of them are saying it's cheap. ACC will protect the rights of workers. Because we believe for South Africa to work, you must pay people well. When we talk about the teachers, the police, the army, nurses, we have people who say, Mdana, Sukhzai, uh, Arnes Vies, Niyama, Jai Muti, Sukhzai, a police Vies, a policeman Vies. Mama says, Nya, Jai Muti. You know what? Because jobs now that used to pay, they don't pay anymore. We find teachers in informal settlements, nurses in informal settlements, police in informal settlements, they are in slums. We must change this country. We must change South Africa. Because the question that we must ask ourselves, how much more will it be to a person who has no skill when those who have skills, there's nothing to show for it? That's why countries like Rwanda are now able in Africa, not somewhere, to become a destination of choice for educators. Because they, they increase their salary by 18% plus. In South Africa, we argue with workers when they say we, we need more, especially when they deserve more. Because the ACC, which is important, we, you've heard from the leaders, we're talking about civic duty, that you must take personal responsibility as a human being. Do not ban a school when you need a library. alone. <laughs> You, you want to say that we demand these things, right? Are we clear, changers? Are we clear? We demand, and we're going to make a very serious call for an accelerated service delivery program across provinces. We will be making a call to create a South Africa that works for every person. But let us do it in a responsible way. When I was a speaker in the Western Cape Provincial Parliament, I started a program called Tetanati. Brad met Ons. Talk to us. 
um, which was birthed by my visit here. That's why we are here. Where I said to parliamentarians, let us come and open the Western Cape Parliament among the people and do the official opening and the state of the province address. And we chose, I chose Rockland. We came here in 2020. <laughs> and the other thing that I promised was to start a public engagement, public education, and public participation instrument so that we can talk to communities about their responsibilities. Ngoba, when you look when there's a protest, who arrives first? It's police. But did you vote for the police? Why must you, when you raise an issue, you get people with guns? But when people need votes, they come, give you t-shirts, and even give you food passes. They, they pretend they can love you. That's a very, very violent relationship. It's abusive, you know? But now when you say, you know, the two devils, ne? the other one that governs the Western Cape, and the other one that governs South Africa, when they feel pressure, they send police to you. But you are saying, can we talk? We need a house, we need jobs, we need, we need a school, we need a clinic. We need to say to communities, do not become violent. Don't burn what you have because you need something else. Because you don't burn your own house, whether it's what they call a shack, it's a home to me. Don't burn your home because you need a better home. What do you do? You go for the better home and you sell maybe the other one or you give it to your children. That's why when we need another school, let's not bring the one that we have, the clinic that we have. So ACC must be in communities everywhere. Let us be social justice activists on the ground and partner with churches, partner with civic bodies as we are here today in this hall. So we need changes in every small town, in every little village, in every suburb, and in every city. So that ACC can build a new city, can build new industries, can build better townships that would become urban areas and suburbs. Not this nonsense that we are seeing in this country. God did not create people that must be rich and others must be poor. And we don't worship a God that says you must remain poor. So we must not allow anyone who governs on our behalf and condemn us to poverty when they have got all the resources that they can't even account for, these thieves. Amasela belong in jail. We don't want Amasela to govern us. When we govern, if you are a thief, we will remove you, Bab. If you are a thief, you steal from these people. We, we will remove you. Yeah, we'll remove you. We'll engage you later, <laughs> but we'll remove you. Because we want leadership with integrity. Integrity allows you when you are on your own to know that this is not my money. It belongs to the people. You don't get confused and say, I thought it was my wallet. And someone said, I thought it was my credit card. <laughs> yeah, she's a friend of mine, so I won't say who she is. <clears throat> But the point I'm mentioning here, yeah. when someone has committed a crime, we must arrest them and send them to jail. Yes. 
And there must be a life imprisonment for a person that has been found corrupt and stolen from the poor. They must be in jail, not for some months. They must go to jail for life. We want a 70-30 job allocations to those unskilled laborers in the working class. When I've got 10 opportunities as an employer and people are coming through, I must be able to offer at least seven to those people who are South African and at least 30% to those who are not. So that we bring social cohesion. I've done it in practice. Teron Mkur there, he will tell you. He knows it. In Armanas, in fact, in Claymont and Armanas, because I was responsible for that area for a very long time, people were angry and they came and said, if you don't have a South African ID, you must go home. I went to address them. I said, don't do it like that. Also, South Africa was helped by other countries. Let us allow the Immigration Department. Let us allow the Department of Labor to come help us. We called them in. And we dealt with that situation in Klein Mond in Overhills. And what we did through the engagement dialogue, we asked the, the employers, will you please, out of the 10, we're not asking everything, can you give it to the people who are South African? It, it's not a teacher or a, you know, an engineer. <laughs> it's just a job to clean here, to cut the grass, uh, to work in a construction site. It's the jobs that ordinary people need who will not get a training. Because for a specialized skill, we know that. And the labor agreed, the, the, the business community agreed with us. And it became a local policy. But why government does not adopt that and make it national? Because you will stop this uh, noise about people must go, people must do this. What you will be able to create is that government must do its job. And those who don't have documents will go to their homes because they need to get their documents and come back legally if the systems allow them to. Because I can't go to another country without the papers. We must love them, protect them, so that they can get home safely. And those people who are calling for violence, you must stop them. ACC must be in communities to say no and do what I've just said. And say, let us just ask immigration and labor to help us. We are also going to make a call for a cradle to grave policy on education. That there should never be a difference between my child and Inesh's child. There should never be a difference between my child and Bella's child. The child that needs access to education must gain it because they deserve it. Not because they look like this or that. We must never create a situation where if you are poor in South Africa, you will die poor because of the accident of your birth. That you are born by poor parents, therefore you must die poor as well. We want to stop that as the Alliance of Citizens for Change. The way I had to go through my own personal development, I want to change it for the next generation. Because I didn't, I didn't have parents that were rich. They are here. Mama, na, na, anke, no, dad. Those are my parents. Mama, no, dad. I was born very poor. I had to sell sweets and chips to pay for school fees. In 1994, school fees was 30 rents. I had to sell sweets and chips at school 
in order to pay for the school fees. I went to the principal. I said, please forgive me, say I don't have money now. Give me access to a class, I will pay you before the end of the year. I paid him. It should never be like that. It should never be like that. Other children sell their bodies. Girl children. They have to open their bodies to men who take advantage of them. I'm sorry. We live in a dangerous country. We must protect a girl child and protect a boy child. Education must be free in this country. It must not be difficult to get education. We, we want to make this country to grow because we protect the young people of this country. In meters plain, children cannot play in the streets. They cannot be children. Let us do something. I, I will never accept it that I sit back and do nothing about this problem. I will never. I will die defending this country, but most importantly, her people. We must know that South Africa has a painful past. One that judged people based on the color of their skin, not as human beings. We must never repeat that country of our forefathers. But equally, we must every day pray and work hard for a South Africa that is able to say to all of us, this is a home to me. And be able to feel like it and be at home. In this province, Yet some crazy man who's calling himself a premier saying he will arrest a president of another country. But children in the Cape Flats cannot be children. And criminals have not been arrested by the person who can arrest them. But he wants to tell us. He wants to tell us some dreams. We are tired of dreamers. We are tired of talkers. We want the doers. We want the changers. South Africa is very rich. And it is the only country that's left in Africa that is able to live a, a system in a system that is so organized as a country. We live a system where the minerals just go, you just get them from the ground and you lift, you lift them out and you send them to another country. And all the jobs that can be created in the value chain, they are created in another country. And then we go there as tourists to buy the same minerals as jewels. We, we need to engage business. We need to engage the former colonizers and say, can we change this system? And you must do so meaningfully and persuasively. But you must be impatient in engaging in that conversation. Because the manufacturing sector alone, South Africa can just produce cars and will be rich. South Africa can just produce computers will be rich. Countries that produce cars and computers don't have minerals, but they produce them. 
Imagine Mpumalanga. They, they produce electricity, but there's no electricity next door to the power station. We have a serious problem in this country. So we need to do something. We need to do something. Our leaders must change the way they think, but also how they feel, so that they can have compassion. Just think about ordinary South Africans. As I'm about to conclude, I want to say this. We know that there's nothing that some of you may feel that is different about what we have said. But we are different. We are very different. We're not going to waste time with speeches. We'll translate everything we say into action. If, if you look me now, look, just look at me. That's why I took my glasses off. Because I wanted to make sure that there's eye contact. If we say anything here, and we go against it, don't vote for us. Just, just tell us. We can't. Because people deserve better. South Africans deserve leadership that is honest. Leadership that we can trust. And leadership who can take responsibility for their actions. They, it is not necessary when you are a leader, you have done something against the constitution of this country and you have been found guilty that we must beg you to leave. We must just be able to hear a message on TV that you have left. You don't need us to tell you, because your conscience will never lie to you. The conscience is that thing when you look at the mirror. It says, you know, it's not okay. You can go to social media and say, I guess who? I guess date leg. <laughs> But hey, man, the, the, your conscience says, it's not like me. It's not like me. So we need leaders that will be able to listen to their conscience. A conscience is that inner you. And that one is not scared of you. We can be scared of you, but that one is not scared of you. So we pray that you will be honest with us. You will tell us that, no, you did not do right here, so you're not going to get my vote. Because we want to live up to the pledge that we've made. Every member of the ACC signs a pledge, which is a social contract with the voters of this country. You don't become a member of ACC without signing. That says I will be loyal and truthful and I will not discriminate other people. You don't become a member if you don't believe in those things. That you don't believe in accountability. You want to govern us when you are a thief. You don't belong in the ACC. Because criminals are not those people who take our cell phones and bread, loaf of bread only. Because they go to jail quick, very fast. But those who steal money to build houses, money to create jobs, money to protect us from criminals, they remain in office wearing suit and ties. Why are we not able to arrest them? The ACC will arrest them for you. Vote for us. Vote for us will arrest those criminals. We will make it safer to live in your home. We will make it safer to walk in your street. We will not talk about it. We will do it. 
We will partner with communities to make our neighborhoods safer. In this country, celebrities are criminals. If you steal, you become fashionable. You can become a president, a deputy, everything. It can be anything. Voters must not allow themselves to be bought. Because our democracy is painful, it's very expensive. We have a responsibility to the next generation. I owe my children, their children, and their children's children the right to live in a country that is stable, that grows, that creates work, and able to educate its society. I refuse to keep quiet. And I will not be silenced because you will make sure that we govern this country. See, I will like a cool. Let us never give up on this country. We must never. We must never give up on this great country of ours. It's a beautiful South Africa. And those people who want to give up, please don't. My neighbor left when I used to live somewhere in the Bloberg area. My neighbor was a very good man. I used to leave him to look after my two boys who were naughty. And I used to ask him to feed my dog sometimes. This man comes to me. He says, I won't tell you his name. He says, Masi, I just came to say goodbye. But I'm asking, why? He says, I'm white. I've got a boy that has blue eyes. And my daughter has blonde hair and blue eyes. They will not find work if I stay in this country. And he's employed at the time about 12 people who were working for him. And he says, unfortunately, my workers will also have to lose work because I'm moving to Australia. I'm sorry, my friend, and he shed a tear. I was more hurt than him because he was my neighbor. How do we stop others from living so that we protect this country from looking like another Zimbabwe? How do we create more people who can create jobs so that it doesn't matter whether you look in a particular way, as long as you can do the job and you belong in this country? Because ESCOM would never, would never have become this failed government parastata if we were just able to create an environment for everybody to work and produce electricity for all of us. Does it matter who produce electricity, whether they speak a language, this language, or they look like this? Does it matter? It doesn't matter who made the meat that we're going to eat, the curry that we're going to eat. What matters is the quality. So we, we must really work very hard. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Viva! Viva! Viva ACC! Viva! Viva! Viva ACC! Viva! Viva! We must go and stop these two criminals. The ones that, that, that governs nationally and the ones that governs the Western Cape. They want to have a coalition to protect their positions. Let us go and stop them next year. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Tu 
up let's give our president a round of applause what a speech and what a commitment okay so can you can you please remain seated And the lunch will be served. Lunch will be served right now. Uh, can but I, I'm going to call for vote of thanks. For vote of thanks, Miss uh, Ines Vivian Adams, who's our treasurer. But before I, I call her. I want, to, I want to emphasize that, this, that we have a responsibility to the next generation. And if we don't rise now, the next generation will be enslaved by the current cruel thieves. And we must live for our generation a better country. Over to you, uh, Inesh. As, uh, as you do the vote of thanks and all the necessary announcements. Thank you very much. Well, welcome. I can't believe that this is actually happening today. I have been pinching myself the whole day, and what an honor it is to be in this hall with all of you. Really, it is an incredible honor for us as leadership to be here with you. And as, as Masi, as I call him Masi, has said, you need to hold all of us accountable. Because we, we, only, we are only here because you are here. And you are first. You'll see our banners, our slogans, our people first. We had a, a big issue, and, and Masi alluded to it, with the service delivery failure. I don't call it load shedding. It is service delivery failure. Last night we couldn't work, and this morning we didn't have electricity until 10 o'clock. From, from 6 this morning, I didn't have electricity. So I'd just like to thank the diverse group of young people that have come together, young SMMEs, established SMMEs, and everybody that has worked really hard. And I'd also like to get, let everybody know that everyone has been paid. All of our service, service providers have been paid. First of all, I'd like to thank the city of Cape Town for this incredible venue. And I call everybody by their first name because they all call me by my first name. So I'd like to thank Vernon, who, who stayed here last night to incredible late hours. And he was here with our team. He's the, the host of this venue. I'd like to thank TGA Services and Mrs. Moyo for the decor. Isn't this just incredible? Hasn't she done an outstanding job? 
And I'd like to thank Creative Ideas for all of the balloons this morning. I'd also like to thank David, who headed up our security together with Dynamic Pri Private Security Company, and a health and safety and occupational safety group called Silver Solution Security. They are here specifically so that we are accountable to you and the city, so that we can make sure that no one, that all of our, our I's are, are dotted and all of our T's are crossed. I'd also like to thank our, um, our media group. And it's a really big, huge thank that I need to give out to our branding team. And that really has been a team that's come together. All of this purple, all of these incredible logos. I mean, really, isn't it just amazing? Wow, they have worked so hard. I can't even tell you how many hours they've put in. I'd like to first of all thank the creation of our logo, Mali, and Izubakan uh, Interactive. I'd like to thank Shane for the incredible hard work with pulling the rabbits out of hats for us. You're just absolutely amazing. Together with your team, Chill SA Solutions, Quick Shade, Chubby Pink, Design Tech, and Wizards Printing. Thank you so much for coming together and bringing everything and making it happen. The Kwanda, who has headed up the multimedia team, oh my word, generators that didn't work, etc. Well done, Kwanda. Kwanda happens to be Masi's son, but he's also very professional, and his company is called TK Solutions Collection, together with Winworld Media. I'd like to thank our catering company. I'd like to thank our catering company. Great. I'd like to thank Tamiz Catering. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy your acne that he's put together for you. I'd like to thank Hotel Sky for the leadership dinner last night and for and Kaya for the rendition of our national anthem. Wow. I'd like to thank the draw group that brought Masizolo in for us today. Pre weren't they just amazing? Wow. They're under the leadership of Mr. Bayer. I'd like to thank our DJ, Jabs Cape Town and Marvelous. And every other person that I may not have remembered you, every single tea lady that's assisting us, tea gentlemen, our runners that have been helping us put up things, our incredible ushers, our incredible marshals that are outside, and I would like to thank each of you and each of the leadership for being here today and for being really, really just supportive in everything that we've done. Thank you for your excellence in delivery. Thank you for your compassion for one another. And I really look forward to seeing what we do as a country going forward, because we will, we will, and you can mark my words on this. We will have seats in national government and in every provincial government. Now, the, 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 the meeting stands adjourned. All the transport captains, just an announcement, all the transport captains, those people who were assisting us with, with taxes. Uh, they must meet uh, David Nangia, uh, they must meet that brother there at that corner. They must meet him in the holding room, uh, that side. Uh, all, all, the trans all the transport captains, who, those people who are interacting directly 
with the taxi drivers. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. The, the, the membership forms are available. The membership forms are available. As you go out, they will be there in the foyer. Uh, you cannot afford not to join this vehicle of change. Thank you for being here. We can interact, uh, greet one another, uh, take high fives, um, ask how I use. It has been such a good day.